that's right this is the one yeah this is the one the no id flight pattern little thing right there size 16 on the rx hooks yeah and the thing is this little guy i uploaded a picture of it on my instagram and uh, my friends has been they ask me how how do you tie that fly and uh, here we are two mini tuesday oh yeah can't be better well i am really glad to be here and i'm really glad to see you right there behind the screen and um, yeah before we jump into the vice let's just roll this <laughs> Well guys, we start with the FW525 from RX, super dry, size 16. Then we take a couple of wraps with the thread and uh, you, you burn down the, the back part of the tail. And uh, the tail is made of a rounded chenille floating. And uh, well, after that, you just take a couple of wraps with capok to start to build uh, the body of the fly. And for the head of the fly, um, that foam will keep all the, the deer hair um, just in position. Well, we start with the, with the thorax, and on the thorax, I use capok at first and then I select the, the color of the hair I want for legs don't forget to brush all the, the under wool uh, because that absorbs water and then it's not that good if you don't brush it out take your clamps make sure everything is in the right length trim off all the hair you don't need uh, with the right length and then I take some more wax on my split thread and uh, put my clamps between and the hair is in position and that's thanks for the wax spin your bobbin nice and easy don't try to, to make it fast because it will be catastrophic all the hair everywhere and you just work the way back trim off the just the, the over part of the head just take back the, the, the foam and uh, tie it in easy with the leg so you don't get uh, too much hair on one side stuff like that and then you just whip finish um, con just look well that the hair is even and then you trim off the foam and some part of the legs if you have too many and you are done <laughs> 